What's up gamers? We're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and I'm going to do a review of Darth Maul and I just want to say he is awesome. I love him and my only complaint about Darth Maul is that his hit points are a little bit low and the only way that you can get him is in the data cards. So Here's the thing. I just wanted this is my suggestion. If you're going to not spend money on the game, that's fine. There's tons of good heroes that you can get. Doth Maul is not one of them. Now, if you are going to spend some money on the game, you're going to have to spend a lot because I'm going to tell you right now, like I pulled I spent $100 and I pulled a Darth Maul out of there. But he's not going to be that useful going forward because he's only four stars. I need to get him to seven stars. The only way that I can get him to seven stars is if I spend like $1,000 or something ridiculous and get tons of him so that I can promote him up to seven stars. Otherwise, I have no way of getting him to seven stars. That being said, if I could get him to seven stars, I would think he's awesome other than his health. He just absolutely wrecks Jedi. He is a pure Jedi killer and i have so much playing with him this raging storm he gets to go again if he kills somebody usually <laughs> and he does double damage to jedi i i just love that same thing here splash damage double damage to jedi they just die they just explode into pieces his uh leadership ability i guess there could be useful if nah, i don't know if that's that great to be honest with you but it's a sith Synergy bonus. Maybe there'll be some other Siths that come out. I don't know. And power of hatred. Now, this is cool because once he kills three people in a single battle, then he starts healing himself. But that's the problem with Darth Maul is that he just dies early because he has low hit points. But if he survives and you kill one or two heroes, he just ramps up and you win. And so I've had good luck with him with uh, Poe Dameron. And I've been using him, but I've also been toggling back and forth in the squad arena between using Chewbacca and Darth Maul. Like, I finished up this morning in sixth place, but by the time the awards rewarded, I was dropped down to 20th. And we'll see where it is in the morning. I'm not going to worry about it for right now. But let's go and do and show off some ridiculousness on him. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I think this is a battle here with predominantly Jedi and let's see if I can find a Talia. Yeah, let's find a low-level Talia, just in case I need to heal, which I will not. Let's do that. And we're going to get rid of everybody on this team and just go in there with Darth Maul. Oh, my God. This is going to be so fun. All right, Clone Sergeant. All right, I think I'm just going to be able to wipe through these guys. Not going to be a problem. Uh, why don't we just heal? You can just sit there and do nothing. All right. Wah! Now, he's only doing 1,400 damage there, but wait until I get to a Jedi. I'm sure we're going to get some Jedis up here. Ah, more of these guys. Watch this. I bet you I can take out everybody with his big splash damage. Watch this. Everybody die. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> Those were Jedi. I do some more. Now, this is what I'm really excited about right here. Check out what he does to Jedis. Oh, we got three Jedis there, and they're just going to go down like it's nothing. All right. Well, you can take out the non-Jedi. Goodbye. Yeah, he's gone. I'm just going to go back to back to back. Watch this. Ah, 4,300. 4,300. And then I can just kill all three of them just like that. 6,700 points of damage. Woo! That's crazy fun. Definitely a guilty pleasure. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.